morning to one and all. I am Batma Priya, Assistant Professor in our Department of CSE of R&D Engineering College. Today we are going to see the topic Modes of Transportation under the subject Supply Chain Management. Supply chain uses a combination of the following modes of transportation and they are air, package carriers, truck, rail, water, pipeline and intermodal. Airlines. Airlines offer a very fast and fairly expensive mode of transportation for the cargo. It is usually used for a very small high value items or time sensitive emergency shipments which has to be traveled for a long distance will be useful for to take care of the to go through the air transportation. Usually the air transportation they are having three cost components and they are a fixed cost of infrastructure and equipment. The cost of labor and fuel is independent of the passenger or cargo on a flight and it is fixed for a flight. A variable cost that depends on the passenger or cargo that is going to be carried out. The key issues in the car carriers are it, it needs to identify the location and the number of hubs assigning the planes to the routes, setting up the maintenance schedules for the planes, scheduling crews, and managing the prices and availability at different locations and prices. So the most important advantage of air transportation is that it is the fastest mode of the transportation. It transports the goods to area which is not easily accessible by other means, which has a very shortest lead time, and also improved service levels. And the disadvantage is it is the most expensive mode of transportation and is not suitable for transporting heavy and bulky goods and also not suitable for short distance travel. The next mode of transportation is package carrier. Package carriers are the transportation companies like the FedEx, UPS, like US Portal Services. And these package carriers use air, truck and rail to do their transportation. And also it is useful for time critical smaller packages. The package carriers also provide many other uh, value added services like uh, order tracking, package tracking, and in some cases processing and assembly of products and all. And these package carriers is the most preferred mode of transportation for most of the online businesses. The most important advantage of the package carrier is it is used for almost all e-businesses. Uh, the shippers are very rapid and it is a very reliable delivery. And also the consolidation of shipments is possible with the, with the only with the package carriers. And the disadvantage is it is comparatively expensive and it is used for uh, only small and time sensitive shipments. The next mode of transportation is truck, that is a road base. Here, this has a complete freedom to use the roads and it also have many flexibility of changes in location, direction, speed and timing of the travel and a significant fraction of goods like most of the goods are moved by the roadways only and here in the roadways we have two types of trucks truck load uh, and less than truck load that is a bigger size uh, vehicles and smaller size vehicles so in the truck load um, which occupies huge amount of products so that they have a low fixed cost but it is having an imbalance between the flows because it cannot be carried into the almost the interior parts of the cities and uh, residential places and uh, it needs to be uh, uh, follow some rules and regulations when compared to the less than truck load here this because of the size of the vehicle has been a small, it can only occupy smaller uh, amount of products into it. And it also has a huge amount of hub and the spoke systems. And also it may take some longer time because of the smaller in size, the vehicles being smaller in size, it can take a longer time to be share, carried out or to be traveled uh, compared to the truckload. 
the advantages of the track is going to be uh, basically it is very the cheaper one it can be flexible and can reach almost all places and the disadvantages it is not economical for long distances and it cost very high for bulk and heavy loads the next mode of transportation is using the railways so it reuses the freight rails and uh, usually it is used for bulk shipment of products from the production plant to the warehouses it moves the commodities over a large distances and also it have very high fixed cost in the equipment and facilities it and it can be only scheduled to maximize the utilization the transportation time can be long if the trains uh, is not going to be scheduled properly the advantages is it is faster compared to the truck uh, roadways and it is suitable for carrying the heavy goods and is also cost effective. The disadvantage is it is very expensive for carrying the goods in short distance and it is not available for almost uh, all the areas like for remote areas where we don't have any infrastructure, the rail infrastructures and all, it is not able to be uh, reachable and it has only fixed time schedule and is not fixable for uh, uh, loading and unloading of goods at many places. The next mode of transportation is waterways. Here the waterways, it is limited to certain geographical areas, uh, only the coastal areas we can say, the ocean, inland waterway system, coastal waters and certain geographical areas only. Very large loads at very low cost can be carried out with the waterways. And uh, uh, it is the, the it provides only very lowest energy um, for a pun, uh, emission intensity per ton kilometer and uh, it is also the slowest mode of transportation and it is also subjected to many uh, problems like bottlenecks and all at ports and it is the most dominant mode of transportation which is used in the overseas trade like autos, grain, apparels, etc. And usually the products and all are going to be carried out in the containers only in the ships. And uh, the ship, uh, the waterways is the cheapest way or the cheapest mode of transportation. And by making use of these waterways only, many um, multinational companies or many branded companies like IKEA and all have is able to provide their products at a very cheaper cost to their customer. Because uh, the IKEA, you know, uh, all the products which is going to be a modular, modularized, it makes use of the uh, waterways uh, to do the transportation to all over the world. And because of this lowest co transportation cost, uh, it is able to provide the products at a cheaper price. The next mode of transportation is going to be pipeline. So it has some high fixed cost comparatively and uh, it is used usually used for only certain products like uh, for crude petroleum, refined petroleum products and natural gas uh, where the products and all is going to be taken from the uh, source directly to the manufacturing unit itself. And it is used for the large predictable demand for these kinds of uh, uh, cases and all the best option of transportation is pipeline. And uh, it is usually uh, through the pipeline mode of transportation, only we are able to get this crude oil to a port or refinery and all. And the pricing structure uh, is also uh, comparatively uh, okay for all the uh, manufacturers to use this pipeline methods. The next mode of transportation is intermodal. Here the intermodal is uh, uh, making use of uh, more than one mode of transportation to move a shipment to its destination, whether uh, rail or truck, water and rail or truck or water or truck. So any combinations of, uh, mode of uh, multiple modes of transportation is going to be made use to move a shipment to its destination. And it has been grown considerably with increased use of the containers. And uh, this global trade and all make use of this intermodal transportation only. And uh, it is also many uh, more convenient for many shippers and all. But the most uh, uh, dis the great uh, dis disadvantages, it involves a, a lot of exchange of information to facilitate the transfer between different um, transport modes. 
So this is with the modes of transportation, uh, the various modes of transportation. And uh, thank you.